We to love hip hop. IG Basto and YG because it actually leads in. These guys never even met each other. They're from different generations and shit, but they're beefing because their hoods been had beef. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So now it's like, hey, I'm a young boy from this hood, you know, uh, and like you said, man, By collect default. info, whatever, whatever. And then they, when they get a chance to diss each other online because they never met each other, they have their, they have their shots ready. Now they have all their shots ready. Yeah. Come on, Cronum. I seen you guys at UFC. You guys kept the groove. You guys are quick on the beat. You did not see me. I seen your Herm. I seen your. I seen fucking 150 Dream Team. You did not see me, brother. What about 150 Dream Team? What about 150 Dream Team? Stop the cap, brother. You ran away with the chain that you bought. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do the cap. He thought he was gonna get taken that chain. Didn't do not, kid. You see the same chain that you borrow? You see the dog? And didn't do not, kid. I started to see I don't even have to think hey, each minute of the slide. Know that's a regular Hold on. There's, there's like eight slides I have here. Yeah, I, yeah, I So I'm not even going to play all <laughs> I listen to all of them. Why can't you say Wallahi that they're the man who never left? Don't say even wala- say that they're wrong. Say yo, Wallahi yo, the man who never left their seats. Say Wallahi the man who never left their seats. Wallahi, my nigga kid. You are a dry ass kid. I can waste you. You're a dry ass, man. You're okay, so what? So what? Yo, kid. So kid. So kid. You never told the us got the man's name, you fucking rat kid. Goof. I never told no one to uh, no rat. Oscar, no My nigga, you told the us go to the mandem's name. I got in trouble for go that. The you name. I'm you're gonna snitch. obstruct. You're I'm gonna snitch, obstruct because you're good. You you're a snitch, no kid. You're is a snitch, kid. Waste you okay, you give, the you give the mandem's name to the Drakes, right? You give the man my block, kid. My nigga, you got boxed off the block. How did I get charged? You got boxed off the block. How did I get charged? You bitch. What did I get charged for? All right, so we'll stop there. Because it just continues just over and over. I got more chains than you. We're got. We're the bigger ones. Because it's not just. My hoods, you know, we whatever. It turns, it, it's a mix of my hoods and my music's harder than you. You only got 20,000 streams. Like, if all that matters inside of the arguments, then we're talking about rappers. Even though they we're talking about real niggas. Don't get it twisted. We're still talking about guys who make music. Yeah. They still, after all the thugging and bugging, they go home and think of raps. Good ones too. To talk about their app. Ah. <laughs> like YG's talented. Yeah, he Haji spit. Basto, who I'm starting to get to know more, he can spit. He's coming up. He's yes. good. He's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're only reason, like, and I'm gonna go back. The only reason we know any of these guys is because they make music. If they were just Tyrone and Tyrell beefing from different hoods, we would not be interested. The musicians who make great music, they go back and forth about all this real shit. But the only reason that we're watching them is because they have rap names. They have videos out, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're right. Well, at least they're kind of keeping it rap in a sense by saying, yo, my chains are bigger than yours. You know what I mean? Yeah. They put that into some rhymes and talk more about that. Don't talk about killing their friend and smoking on their friend. Yeah. Talk about how much diamonds you got for real. Talk about how much better your raps are for real. Keep that bravado. I f- with that. Keep that bravado. Because it That's keeps right. on getting intertwined into these guys' arguments. I've been watching these men argue is... on IG Live, yeah. Twitter Space, Clubhouse, all that for years. Yeah. And besides whatever disrespectful things they say about men who are inside and did I heard this, I heard that, they always go back to, hey, and I got more emotion than you. If, if it was only about the street shit, they would only keep that talk. <laughs> they yeah. wouldn't make mention yeah. one thing about how much streams they got. None of that. It wouldn't even matter, bro. But they care about that. Yeah, so it's tying in. Mm. Let them tie that in now. That's the narrative. Talk about how much more streams you guys got. Talk about how much more diamonds you got. I don't mind. I don't mind. Just don't talk about how much bodies you got. What if... uh, And you giving it all away. Thank you. you. That ain't free game. That's stupid game. You know what I mean? That's called crash. (laughs) But what if they put it into their music and then someone crosses the line and that leads to... How's that going to cross life? the line that you got more, I got more diamonds than you? Then come with a bigger chain. I'd rather see them competing on who come, like niggas start looking like Slick Rick out here. Yeah. Like that's, that's what I'd, I would rather see them get more into the fashion the, sense. Are, and, 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 and you know, like I got a, now, flexing, now, yeah. now, 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 YG goes and gets a little modeling deal and then now he's flexing on a cover or something. That's yeah. called rap music because I can get on this and this and this. I'll show you how much blogs really pick. Not these little, little blogs we got. Now you start going and getting the real yeah, things going. Yo, if you, if you yeah. get offended by who's got a bigger chain, it's going to only make you want to go and make, get, get a, a bigger get chain. A bigger yeah. chain. Right? Yeah, yeah. Rather, but if you're, if you're getting offended by who's got more bodies, it's going to make you want to go get another body. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You know, yeah, right. Rather them keep it rap, and that's the competitive side. If they're gonna be a little, uh, you know, if it's gonna get a little childish, be on that. Come with who got more cars? That's what those those them niggas in the states would really be talking about. Yeah, because they're mentioning it in the shit. 
Yeah. You mentioned chains. The man was like, yo, I got I got bare hundred thousand dollar chains. And that's rap. Ba- Hadji Basto was like, yo, mine's is pending. And then they yeah. started clowning him for that. Yeah. But like, but they cared about that part. But that's good. <laughs> that's the part I'd rather see you guys going at it for. Yeah. And, and then maybe I could see you later on in a picture together, like because you could niggas got some money off of that type of motion. Where people start being more interested on what you're gonna wear next, what you're gonna rap about next on your bravado side. Yeah. Not what, How much more achievements are you guys gonna get than each other? I, yeah. Let's have. Let's make that the beef. Yeah. Who's I, got, I, got more awards? Who got more plaques? <laughs> who, got yes. the gra- who got the Grammy right? first? That's when. That's when YG should have been like, you know what? Let me post all my plaques right now. Yes. And been standing and be sitting, spelt out something yeah. in this plaques or something. Like you gotta, you gotta yeah. really. Up one on these guys these should be competing for Grammys. Like they should be doing like yeah. <laughs> awards. Like, like the plaques is one thing, but like actually getting on a stage and receiving yeah. an award in front of like yeah. the you whole community. You guys should be fighting on who, how many different. shows you did this year, like and got paid for, dog. Yo, and the thing is, if it's really back to whatever it is with the street, the fact that the next team is winning so sick, as far as like all these achievements, it's gonna burn the next hood. So you're still winning, fam. Like, look how rich these niggas is getting. Oh, we got to go get more rich. We got to go to the niggas. studio. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. But then you, you and then you up them. You up yeah. on them. You don't got to yes. talk about their. It's, it's they're, good competitive. What's that called? Good competition. or with, yeah. Yes. With, yeah. yeah. Just, just the, that should solution. be the thing. You know what? You guys, you, yeah, you, you took out how many bodies. You know what? Watch how successful I am. Watch how much shit I get. So that you guys can't even touch me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Oh, that's how it is. Okay. Well, watch out. It can't and turn I it wouldn't say, and then I wouldn't say your name because I'm not gonna get you no fame. So that's where I would squash you. I don't want to be a pessimist <laughs> though, but like, we could take it to Memphis, right? Mm. That happened with Yo Gotti's camp and Young Dolph's camp. Okay, it became from street beef to look how much successful our each sides can get. And Young Dolph was doing his thing, putting people on, getting mad money, helping out the neighborhood. Same thing on Gotti's side. He's signing guys, becoming a bigger rapper, messing with Jay-Z. Look how much more I'm doing than you, little Dolph. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right? And it be, that was the kind of thing that was kind of going were, on. But they're still storing the subs in but the then music. They, then they got mm. way left, and now we don't got Dolph, bro. Yeah, so. <laughs> you uh, know what I'm saying? Uh, so, like, see, I don't so. want to be a pessimist. It's a good plan. Like, yes, compete for success. But even while competing for success, there's so much, I don't know, like, Thank evil you. underlining things. That yeah. even the man's while they're getting the success, then the greed starts coming in, and then somebody ends up dying. And Dolph's not here. And those guys were having a success competition like crazy at one yeah, point, bro. So, so, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There was like two kings of Memphis. Dolph and Gotti. South side, north side. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they're warring. Gotti's got to like have like freaking president level security to walk around because of his success. And then Dolph got bulletproof cars. Yes. So it's like, maybe we just got to change the root of the mind state, period. Yeah, fam. dog. Because yeah. even while competing for success, niggas die. I hear you. But if you're There's, keeping it uh, where like how much records getting sold and whatever, it will, it will, <laughs> you ain't trying to die, dog, before you beat, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You trying, yeah. to, you're trying to beat your competitor on more records sold. So you're going to keep yourself secluded. You're going to do the right steps. You're going to move more like a star. And you, you want to be saying? free to enjoy this shit, man. Mm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you got beef, beef, while you're trying to be successful, and then at the same time now, you're really trying to shoot at niggas and stuff like that, you're taking all of the money that you made and then throwing it all away because you're, you still got a war with these guys. Like, the way these guys are talking to each other, and I don't want to, like, but let's, we got to be realistic. If these men were to see each other, there's something might happen. So then all the things that they've been working towards, they threw it all away because they've seen each other in public. Yeah. So then what does that solve? What is it? Ego at, at that point then? Yeah. Ego, ego, pride. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's all maturity, ego, pride. Like, there's lack of all of that. Like, but Obviously, anything these guys do, it's controlled environments. So what's the chances? No, but like they're talking about the UFC and stuff. What if mans ran into each other at the UFC, started a big ass beef, get taken away in handcuffs? Now, all that time that you're working on all these streams, collecting all these plaques, you can't enjoy them because you're sitting in a jail cell because you beef with your ops. Because you seat them in public and you're like, I have to do something because if I don't, people are going to think I'm pussy rather than, you know, because, you know, sometimes in the States, these guys, oh, I seen each other, we seen each other to fight and they just stayed in their own corner and didn't do nothing. Mm-hmm. Man's over here, we're not 
that. I don't want to this, but we're not mature enough to we're be trying like, to climb over people. Like, yes. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, excuse me. We'll risk <laughs> it all. Uh, we'll I just say, need, excuse me. I just sorry, need to fight that guy over there. Give me one second. My yeah, bad. like, Hold excuse on. me. Sorry. Oh, excuse me, buddy. Uh, Man's are getting up too yeah. over there. I'm just going to get right there. I'm just going to get right between there and just And then all of those shit you collected is all out the door. It's a waste. Because you're in jail because you ran into the ox, fam. So all of that competition, everything like that, you ran into each other and you threw it all away. Yeah, now your yeah. fans can't even get to see you at the show yeah, because they're like, in jail. Some of these you guys, remember, it's just a fist fight. If that's the case, you're not throwing shit away. Nah, Bro. fam. Everybody. But if you're I'm out there with us, strap us, and then you're busting so, out your Some grades, of these guys can't even go outside stuff. without a mask or, or like, be, they have to be super hidden. Talk like, about they it. They can't go anywhere, man. How, like, you, what's the point of getting all this money and getting all this fame and doing all this work if you, you can't even no, but that's when they take sit them, and enjoy it. Take off the mask if if that's the case, right? If you can't. You it's okay for your fans to pick you up, but if you see one of your ops, it's all out the door. And that could be anywhere, right? You gotta so always like, watch you behind gotta, your back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's back that's such a, a shitty way to live. Like you have to always be looking behind your back and like watching where yeah, you're going. Yeah, and everything's controlled environments. I don't think anyone really wants that. No one wants to wake up and like have to like watch behind their back yeah. all the time to see if someone's gonna run up on them. Like you, you know what I'm saying? I don't even think like the most gangster gangster wants that. Seems like it now. That's the thing. They put yeah. themselves in that in those in those situations. They put themselves in that life. Yeah. Well, listen, man, I'm gonna give a salute to both parties, YG and Haji Basto. Like I said, these guys are very talented individuals, and I'm never expecting them to do a tune together or whatever. That's stupid. But just figure it out, guys. Figure it out. I got I got one more thing for us. We love hip hop.